Before starting the video, let me ask you a question. Why are people so obsessed with medical dramas? Well, let me answer you. Medical drama's popularity suggests that television audiences are mystified by the unknown elements of their own bodies and so, in watching others undergo the trauma and misfortune of illness, they are able to explore the mysteries that exist under their own skin. Plus, the drama is intriguing, I would say. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. I ranked this show following two criteria, the balance between medicine and drama and how much I enjoy the show, therefore this is a personal classification. The Resident is a 2018 American medical drama television series which focuses on the lives and duties of staff members at Chastain Park Memorial Hospital while delving into the bureaucratic practices of the hospital industry. It is based on the book Unaccountable by Marty McCarry and, and it stars Matt Zuckery, aka Logan from Gilman Girls and Emily Van Camp aka Agent 13 or Sharon Carter from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In The Resident, the practice of medicine is secondary to the interpersonal and economic demands of the day. This show earned the last place on this top because the first few episodes are extremely annoying and irritating due to both characters' behavior and hospitals' policy totally revolving around money and not around saving lives first. Once you manage to accept all of this, the resident is not that bad. The Night Shift is a 2014 American medical drama that has 4 seasons and 45 episodes. It takes place during the overnight stretch at San Antonio Memorial Hospital. The show has a nice Texan flair, even though it's shot in Albuquerque, and it also has a strong military element. Many of the doctors in the series are Afghanistan war veterans, and the hospital also treats its fair share of returnees from war. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a common story element, and the show is almost more interested in psychological scars of war than in the physical ones. There is definitely more medicine than in The Resident because the night shift is set in an emergency room and the situations are way more extreme, which make the show very engaging. There is a lot of drama between the characters, which are fairly developed, and the fact that almost everything revolves around its main character, TC, may the night shift deserve the fifth spot in the stall. Code Black is a 2015 American medical drama television series. This show is based on the award-winning documentary of the same name. This medical drama follows the staff in an extremely busy emergency room as they cope with staggering amount of patients, which oftentimes outweighs the hospital's resources, resulting in a code black. Code Black has interesting characters and a good balance between action and more calm scenes in addition to the one between medicine and drama. The downside of this show that made it be a number 4 in this top is that it doesn't stick in your brain in the sense that, apart from the general idea of the Code Black, it's nothing new. In fact, some of the characters are a bit cliché, while some others are intriguing but they're not developed and shown enough.
that first aired on ABC in 2015 and it is the second spin-off of Chicago Fire after Chicago PD. The show is about the lives of the staff of one of the busiest hospitals in the city, an explosion of emergency, medical and human, they'll invade the emergency room and the only will work against the prevailing chaos is the team of doctors and nurses who struggle daily to save the lives that end up in their hands. Every season has at least one major crossover with Chicago Fire and PD, so it's highly suggested to watch the other two shows of the Chicago Universe, but it's now mandatory. The producer's goal is to make the viewer emotionally attached to all the characters since they are in a way a big family. The human connection both between colleagues and with patients is very important and it's often highlighted. Chicago Med presents many tricky medical and ethical situations that involve law and human rights. The negative side is that law affairs are quite present and further in the show the drama tends to become annoying and some characters become irritating. Grey's Anatomy is an American medical drama television series that premiered in 2005 on ABC. The title is an allusion to Grey's Anatomy, a classic human anatomy textbook first published in 1858 in London and written by Henry Grey. The series is designed to be racially diverse and uses colorblind casting, which is the practice of casting without considering the actor's ethnicity, skin color, body shape, sex and or genre revolves around the title character, Dr. Meredith Grey. The program focuses on the personal and professional lives of surgical interns and their medical mentors. Although the field of medicine is always a core component of the show's plot, much of the drama in Grey's Anatomy draws on the character's personal tribulations. The doctors of Grey's Law Memorial Hospital deal with life or death consequences on a daily basis it's in one another that they find comfort, friendship, and at times more than friendship. Together, they're discovering that neither medicine nor relationships can be defined in black and white. Real life only comes in shades of gray. Grey's Anatomy has never flagged in brilliantly stitching together the personal, the professional, and the superatically outrageous. Of course, the show handles the medical side of the story as well deftly balancing one in a million cases with less colorful but just as dangerous illnesses. It currently has 16 seasons and it's not boring because the storyline keeps evolving and the characters keep growing and carrying along the viewer in the life path. Grey's Anatomy is dynamic and organic, but it's full of extreme drama that molds the affection or disaffection for some characters and puts you in a position of wanting to see what crazy disaster is gonna happen next. Medical Division is a 2004 medical medical drama television series and its main character is Dr. Gregory House, an unconventional misanthropic medical genius who, despite his dependence on pain medication, leads a team of diagnosticians in a fictional hospital in New Jersey. House often clashes with his fellow physicians, including his own diagnostic team, because many of his hypotheses about patients' illnesses are based on subtle or controversial insights. His floating of hospital rules and procedures frequently leads him into conflict with his boss, hospital administrator and dean of medicine, Dr. Lisa Cuddy. This show deserves the first place in the stop because of its almost perfect balance between medicine and drama. In fact, in each and every episode, you can witness the development of the characters' relationships as well as the analysis of the patient's symptoms and backstory. There is one thing to say about the scientific part, though. 
The diagnoses are not very medically accurate since they rely on Dr. House's intuitions and therefore they tend to be odd and outlandish. But we have to keep in mind that almost every disease presented in the show is rare and hard to detect. That's it for this video, thanks for watching! If you want more videos like this one, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell and follow me on my Instagram at DesireExperienceYT to know everything about my incoming projects. Without further ado, see you next time, bye!